Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, thank you for joining us. We're continuing going through Galatians here, and we're in chapter 5 today. And in, I'm just entitling this today, Yeast. Okay, you're going you're gonna to be like, going, oh, what are you talking about, Yeast? So, let's read today. We're going to be reading from Galatians 5, verses 7 through 12. So, if you have spectacles, you can be reading like I am here. It's uh, verses 7 through 12. It says, You were running a good race. Who cut in and who cut in on you to keep you from obeying the truth? Okay, this this applies to me a lot right here. Um, their practical illustration is like there's been times where I've been running and so I, I you know, I've been uh, he headed to win the race. And as I'm coming around that last turn, someone comes in front of me and cuts in in front of me and blocks my way. And, and they end up winning the race because uh, they blocked me and, and I couldn't pass them. All right. So again, you'll see that NASCAR. That NASCAR it happens all the time, where you know the guy passes and all he's doing is blocking you uh, to keep you from winning the race because and then he'll win the race. And so that's what Paul is saying here. Like you were doing really well, you were winning the race, but then all of a sudden, what what's going on? Someone came in and, and blocked you. Okay. Let's keep reading on here. Verse 8. That kind of persuasion does not come from the one who calls you. That kind of persuasion, that's not God that's cutting in front of you like that. Okay. A little yeast works through the whole batch of dough. I am confident in the Lord that you will take no other view. The one who is throwing you into confusion, whoever that may be, will have to pay the penalty. Brothers and sisters, if I am still preaching circumcision, why am I still being persecuted? In that case, the offense of the cross has been abolished. As for these agitators, I wish they would go the whole way and emasculate themselves. This is some harsh stuff he's saying here. So let's go back up to verse 9. Verse 9, it says, A little yeast works through the whole batch of dough. Okay, I have yeast here. I used packet. You see that? I don't know if you can see it. Ah. Uh, there, that's better. So I have this yeast packet. It's a little bit of yeast. Actually, I have three packets here. And you buy it in three packets, okay? So I have this yeast, and it only takes a little bit of yeast to make that, that dough rise, okay? And yeast in the Bible represents uh, sin. And there was times where you were called to, um, during the festivals and holidays, Get rid of all the yeast in your house. Sweep the house out to make sure there's no yeast at all in the house. The bread you were to eat was supposed to be unleavened bread, okay? And so if you had a little bit of yeast and it would get in the bread, all of a sudden that bread would be rising. You go, hey, oh no, 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 what's going on here? That bread is rising. We're supposed to be eating unleavened bread. And here it's, it's starting to rise. And like, oh, oh no, we're, we can't eat that for the festival. We weren't supposed to even have that in our house. So... Um, he that's what he's saying here verse 9 a little yeast works through the whole batch of dough these this false teaching is this little bit of false teaching it's working its way through the whole church and it's messing up the whole church okay and that's what he's saying here so watch out for that in verse 10 I'm confident in the Lord that you will take no other view the one who is throwing you into confusion whoever that may be will pay the penalty so Paul is saying here Watch out for him, but he, eventually he's going to pay the penalty. Brothers and sisters, verse 11. If I'm still preaching circumcision, why am I still being persecuted? Okay. He's still being, well, Paul is still being persecuted. He's not preaching circumcision that you need to be circumcised. In that case of the offense of the cross has been abolished. All right. If you are focused on the circumcision and obeying the law, then that the salvation through Jesus and dying on the cross doesn't mean anything. You're taking that away, okay? Um, you're diluting that um, is what's happening here. And then verse 12, As for those agitators, I wish they would go the whole way and emasculate themselves or castrate themselves. Now, this was a, a practice that was done with, um, in that day, um, some of the, the false gods, I forget which idol it was, but whatever idol they were following, it doesn't matter, but they were following an idol. And these priests would castrate themselves 
as a form of honor and worship to this this god okay um of this false god okay god never said to do any of that uh, to castrate yourself ever you know throughout the whole bible here um and so but paul is saying man i wish they he's thinking some really harsh thoughts about these guys and it all goes back to uh, some episodes back where we talked about paul cares deeply about these people and because he cares so deeply about them he is upset because they're being led astray by these judaizers and he's mad about it he's like oh, i wish they be they could castrate themselves okay something really harsh but it's because he cares for the people he cares for these christians and how they're being led astray okay and so several things i want you to to uh, take away from this okay don't be that person that's the yeast and me messing everything up that little bit of uh dissension that's coming or that little bit of false teaching that's messing up the church lord have mercy i don't want to be that person okay um and then the second thing is watch out for that stuff going on here okay and um and then the third thing would be this that we need to have that same compassion that paul did and um and there's righteous anger at times too when when people are being led astray like that okay so those three things watch out for that stuff all right thanks for watching i'm just a regular dude walking in the word and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through galatians lord's blessing i'll see you then